So good day guys. Um welcome back. So um today I will show you how to solve for um uh, we have we have this problem so we are asked to solve for the p and I mean the resultant of the this four system so we should find p and um so um this problem I got this from this book so page 24 24 of the book so problem 223 so the problem state that the block shown in figure p-223 is acted upon by its weight 200 pounds a horizontal force q 600 pounds and the pressure p um, exerted by inclined plane the resultant r of these forces is up and parallel to the inclined thereby sliding the block up it determine p and r so there is a hint take one axis parallel to the inclined so also the book give, gives us the answer so we can um, check if our um, solutions or the answer um, is correct so um, um, I already drew draw the um, the figure of the problem so <clears throat> um, the problem state that the parallel is acting up parallel to the incline so this would be the resultant <clears throat> then also the hint is we should take one axis parallel um, parallel to the incline so it means we will take this incline um, as our new axis so I will make this my x axis or our x prime so perpendicularly this will be our new y axis or our y prime um we already so that's it so to solve for p we would like to um sum up the forces y y so we can um um solve for p so this is so you would like to know the angle here and the angle so this is just 30 degrees because this um, axis is crossing to a uh, two parallel line so this is just 30 so this is perpendicular this will be 60 then 200 and the 600 is perpendicular also so this will be 30 degrees see so we already have the angle and now we can solve for um, the P so 600 going down so we would like to view this in this um um angle right because this is our new axis so 600 is going down this negative um this is summation of forces y so um also we would like to equate this to zero because 
um, we were told that um, we should um, retain the system to its um, equi equilibrium state so this <coughs> so we should equate this to zero so 600 sine um, 30 minus 200 um, cosine of 30 so why why did I so why we are using the cosine law of to to uh, for the 200 um, because our angle is attached or is from the y y axis to the um force so if um if we are using the angle from force to this x axis so we can change it to sine 60 so <coughs> then we have plus p cosine of 15 so equals to 0 so now we will have our p 630 200 cos 30 plus B cos 15 so so we have 489.90 pounds so we already have the P so now we can solve for the result. So <coughs> um, we already have the P. So we can either um, use um, this um, position, or we can go back to um, the original um, axis because we already um, we already found um, the P. So right. So, um, in my case, I'd, I would like to go back to our original axis. So, first, I would like to um, look for the angle here. So, it's 30 degrees. So, 90. So, this would be um, the angle here is 45 degrees because 30 plus 15 45 plus 45 is 90 so our P um, going up is 45 degrees sorry so 45 degrees with 489.90 so going to the left uh, right is our 600 pounds and going down is our um the 200 so um we already we also have r here so it's 30 degrees so we can just still ignore the R because R is just the summation of these three forces so um, I already <coughs> make a tutorial on how we can um, get this R um, I will um, put the link below so you can review it but in this case is this is just an it is now easy because we already find the P in the first um, figure we uh, it is difficult because we don't have the P so now we can <coughs> look for R by summing up by use or by using this right so 
Oops, I think my ball pen is out of ink. So, I'm gonna use this. This is a little bit <coughs> um thin, thinner than the other one. So, we would like to find the X component and the Y um, components. So, for 8, 9, summation of forces X would be just equal to 4, 8, 9, point 90, uh, negative. So, cosine of 45 um, plus um, 600 only. We should still ignore the R because um, it is the summation of the three forces. So our um, so, um, x component is 253.59 positive so it's going to the right so next is our um, y component so y it is positive 489 90 sine 45 minus 200 so it is positive 146.41 so it is correct at the direction of our resultant is correct because as you can see the um, x component and the y component is um, is like this so but um so now we can use the um formula to solve for the r so r is just equal to 253.59 square plus 146.41 square so our resultant is 59 um, so our resultant is 292 82 pounds up right so that's how you solve for this kind of um, problem first we um, take one um, or rotate the axis to this new um, axis then we um, solve for P then we go back to our original axis then solve for the R so it's it is simple so that's all I hope we all learn um, something so this is the whole um, solution my solution so <coughs> If you notice some error and mistake in my um, solution, please um, comment down below um, and point it out so I can um, avoid making the same mistake in my next um, video tutorial. Um, thank you for watching and please um, do subscribe and also. If you have problems in mechanics that you want me to um, solve, please just post um, or just message me and I'll try to solve it for you.